Alrighty, what's up lads? Welcome back to another sesh here of the the Germany, the mighty Germany. So uh, in the previous episode we actually PU'd Raguzo, pu a one province fighter. <laughs> Seems kind of uh, ridiculous, we're now isolated, it's stuck here in Ragusa. Um However, of course, it could be key. Now, somebody told me that in order to PU, uh, not PU, but change government rank, the subject needs prestige. So currently, Spain's gaining prestige. Brittany has tons of prestige. Um, but Brittany doesn't have a thousand development, I'm sure of that. So, uh, yeah, let's keep that in mind. I, I don't know uh, how we're supposed to get his prestige up, but it is currently growing. That's good to see. Either way, let's get into things here. I'm going to want to um, improve relations with my friend here. That's going to be absolutely crucial. You know what? If we go to a war, that guy will probably be liberated. But uh, we do need to improve relations, however. Now, speaking of war, there's a couple things that I wish to do before we go to war and there's a couple wars that i'm thinking about fighting but one thing i wish to do is see if kiev will take land yep there we go give him some of the land here two more provinces that we wish to hand off to him and uh, let's go fight these rebels as well So I wanted to smash Austria, some of you are aware of that. Uh, let's core these ones up. I also wanted to attack Genoa. Now if we attack Genoa, I'm wondering if the Papal State, due to this war, would not back somebody up. Let's check. Because he's allied to both Austria and Genoa. Apparently, the Papal State despises us. Oh. No, he's not allied to Austria. So why is he involved in this war? I'm not sure. Okay. See, what I was going to say is, if we attack this, we're dealing with Milan and the Papal State. But we could call Milan in against Austria so that we can avoid him. That looks appealing. As far as Great Britain is concerned, there's nothing we can do about that. I'd have to pull my trade back um, against the Swedes. Uh, my light ships. But I think uh, it's about time that we smash, take a big chunk out of Austria. And I'd want to declare this war as well simultaneously. So let's see how we fare. We would then have access to Hungary. Um, we're behind Austrian military tech, eh? Jeez. Alright. I could change one of these to Morel. Austria's obviously out in Anatolia right now. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to attack Austria. So let's just make sure I've got a sort of gauge on each of my stacks. We've got a total of five. There, it's that one that I couldn't see at a glance. All right, I'm coming for you, Austria. Austria and Hungary, of course, and Tunis, apparently. I don't know how or why they're allied to Tunis. It's over a common rival of Mil Milan in... Italy. It's actually been quite a while since I uh, played this, guys, as I do sort of record in batches nowadays. And, um, yeah, I, I just might be in a little bit of a different mindset, so just be aware of that. Oh. We, uh, relations with Ragusa, that should be key. Our relations are looking good with Kiev. We need relations with Ragusa just in case my 48-year-old ruler dies. We will lose the union there, um, so I'm going to do everything. Let's make sure to influence him. Oh, coalition. 
Damn. Okay, let's get this war started. General modified disappeared, so apparently we can take admin points. Looks like we could do with some missionary strengths. It's fine. I do need to... I would like to sort this out, though. What can we do? Because the manpower modifier would be nice to... not have, if you see what I'm saying. We might just give him some uh, land that doesn't produce nice goods... Boy, it will take ages to appease him like this, though. Really? Should we gain autonomy on all of these? A lot of them are low dev, but it would take ages. There's nothing else I can do, is there? Rip. Should we just keep the nobility pissed at us? I think we're just going to keep them pissed at us for now. Who cares? Why can't I mouse over that? What the hell? Hmm. We might have that modifier forever here, by the looks of things. But, uh... Yep. We're gonna begin a war with Austria, guys. And obviously our subject's gonna help us out. So let's make Ostmark the war goal. That seems easy enough to obtain. Boom. Back to where we go, go. And we have a super siege here. Let's go for the mountains with the super siege. And, uh, yeah, numbers on our side, right? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Seems safe. Let's go into a higher level fort. Higher level fort. Um, so... Tunis is getting sieged down by the Ottomans, it looks like. We now have access out of here, as long as I'm smart about it. Go for that fort level 2, it could drop really quickly. And uh, this dude... So do I need... I've got 5 stacks and only 4 generals, huh? Do we have a general slot? No, we don't. Because we're using an admiral. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna try sneak my navy out then. I already regret it. Hide. Lost the transport. Potentially lost the transport, that's okay. I just thought maybe we could sneak out there and then at least uh, siege down and harass the Swedes. Gosh, that didn't work out well. So one of my units, him, that doesn't have a general. Let's just be aware of that. Sure, have access, Ottomans. Portugal into the coalition. Ragusa. Did I mention I'm sorry? Influence them. Everybody's entering the coalition. That's surprising at this stage. I feel like we are so powerful. We are more powerful than all of you combined. What, don't you understand? Oh my goodness. That's an issue. Should we just try man up? I think we should just try man up on them. We're in the woods. Um, what kind of general does he have? Two shock. I wish we had a better general here. I'm going to try man up on him. I think we might be able to defeat that if we're lucky. Now, the nice, beautiful advantage here is that the troops, the enemy troops are all over here, clearly, so we should have time to siege these down, I suppose. I'm moving out towards Genoa with my other stack. So 
send a gift on the 21st. Make sure it gives 25 relations. Look at that. Outnumbered over 2 1. Smashing him like it ain't no thing. Liberating this stack here. Beauty, mate. That will flip back automatically. So I guess with this stack, we're going to go uh, try to put some pressure on the Swedes so that they will actually peace out in a more reasonable time. And maybe we liberated this navy, which should be able to go smash the Swedish navy, I suppose. Oh, maybe not. Crap. I mean, we'll, we'll defeat that, but the British will come and reinforce. I've got nowhere else to go right now, though, so I'll, I'll try to do that. And we'll probably end up just retreating here. Uh, I can do subsidies with Ragusa. What else can I do? Nothing really, right? Apart from subsidies, which will cancel eventually. We're improving relations, so that's about it, I think, that we can do. Let's check if the Pope will grow, uh, break relations with Genoa. No, he won't, so that's quite frustrating. Here we go. Here we go. Reconquest, eh? Let's do it. About general list general. Yeah, these British fleet incoming are a problem. I need to retreat ASAP in five days. Damn, we did really well though. Smashing the Swedes. Hey, converting it back to Swiss, and this one can be done as well. Let's do it. Back to Swiss we go. Cool. Fully accepted culture. Alright, so... Uh, Fort level 1 here will fall quickly, despite not having a siege general. That's good. The British are not putting... Oh, wait, what? See, I lied to... I didn't even realize. He's defended the faith or something? Why is, why is Portugal in this war all of a sudden? Coalition. I attacked the coalition. I didn't even realize. God dang it. Take a break from this game for like a couple days and I'm a full-blown noob. We just attacked the coalition. Uh, damn. That's actually going to make uh, uh, Corsica's determination go up dramatically just because uh, he's combined... With Portugal here, that's annoying. Frick. And Venice. Yeah, great. Okay. I don't know how that happened. I didn't read what was right in front of my face, apparently. Uh, shoot. Okay. I will go out for his capital then, in that case. Well, as far as 100%ing him, that's basically a no go now. So I'll probably be satisfied with just taking that here. And we're giving it to Savoy, of course. Let's go for the Sw Swedish capital, and that will um, just enthuse Sweden big time, I suppose. Well, two years of negative uh, production efficiency, that's not very nice, considering we're all about the production here in Germany. Looks like maybe the Spanish are going down to Iberia. Uh, let's go for Venice in that case. I think I'm content with 5% here, military tech, let's get that up. And uh, I think I'm content with 5% content with admin tech to get the admin efficiency. Which is just... A beauty. Let's 
Some army professionalism. Oh crap. Austria pieced out. He didn't take that much. He took about four provinces, it looks like, but he's pieced out. That's the awkward thing. So we're fighting both these wars at once. He's obviously walking home. Troops are exiled, but we may have done the damage to him already. Uh, now with Austria, of course, we're looking for something like, let's see how much we can get. Something like that. That's the German region. He did convert that to Austria, didn't he? Yeah. Oh my goodness, that would be the dream. Look at that. 96% overextension. So we currently have 23%. Um, would Kiev be able to take these? Yeah, he probably would. So how much war score is this? 99 war score. Yeah, we'll see how we feel. But uh, that's what I'm looking at doing. Um, the problem is the British. Yeah. So we won't be able to achieve that more than likely because we'd have to separate piece the British, which is not going to happen. So we'll just take a smaller chunk, it seems. So be it. The Spanish backed off from Fez. They seem to be progressing nicely. I don't, I don't know why. Maybe they were reconquering that and I just didn't, I didn't realize. Uh... That's awkward. Well, we're not sieging that down very well. But uh, we'll get there before he comes, and that's the most important thing. We also have the uh, beautiful Tech 23. Imperialism CB. Everybody likes that CB, right guys? Available to be had. So that's exciting. For future wars, imperialism, finally. Raguz is looking at 30 relations, which is not the best, but uh, we're getting there to the, to the safe zone. We do have to keep in mind that we've got 25 relations for being at war with him on the same side, allied in a war. There we go. Finally, that siege falls. Okay, so Austria's enthusiasm is lacking, as to be expected. But it's it's going to be the war score, which is quite difficult to obtain. What's our navy force limit look like? We're two under. Could try steal some Swedish fleet here from him. And uh, we can delete the galleys also. We should keep that in mind. Galleys can just be deleted. Okay, there's a lot of troops out here, including British. Interesting. I've actually been playing another game, guys, uh, which I don't want to actually mention, just for s diplomatic reasons, to do with when this video goes up versus other videos and so on, it gets complicated for me. And uh, I'm busy in real life and stuff, working working the works, trying to sort my life out so that the stream dream can be real one day. But i got to make enough money to uh, move, and I need a little bit more equipment and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Anyways, I've been playing another game, and uh, therefore... I just don't feel perfectly comfortable. I've also been playing on the new patch. And then rebooting up this old patch to be able to continue this game. It's just how it goes sometimes. Okay, so we stole the ship there. Don't know exactly what it was. Yeah, no, I just don't... I feel a little bit disheveled if you guys are seeing a little bit of discrepancy in the way that I'm playing. Like, uh... That's kind of why. So we might, with the low enthusiasm, we might be content with the 35 guys. But one thing we have to keep in mind is that if we piece him out, Milan will join this war. So 
I think with that being said, we're going to be content with that reconquest as well, considering he won't accept now. So there we go. Fed Savoy a bit, and uh, we could take a chunk here. My stomach is going crazy, by the way. Hopefully my mic settings are good enough to where you can't hear the stomach rumbles, but dang. I'm just like, just crazy. That's what you get for fasting. Uh, taking this fort would be good so we don't have to deal with it again in the future. And I guess maybe that fort as well. Yep. How about that? Overextension's not an issue. There we go. More of Germany conquered. And most of it's going to be caught up here uh, extremely quickly. Due to being fully accepted culture. That's fun. Apparently Raguz is happy with us. But I'm not convinced. I think it might be... Still assuming that we're at war with him, I'm not sure. Kiev takes that off our hands, and that's everything we don't want to core, so I can now just do that. Nice. Yep. We need a little bit more relations with Ragusa here to get into the safe zone. Uh, cool. That was fun. Now, I have a concern, guys. I'm trying to buffer Savoy out from any any enemies to actually break relations with him without having him get wrecked. And I feel like Milan is a huge threat to Savoy. So, with that in mind, I think it's time that we abandon our relations with Milan, which is pretty sad. He's powerful. And um, he's been a big help to us, but it's kind of inevitable. Now, at a glance, I also don't know exactly what our next move is supposed to be. Um, oh, I should be watching this guy, right? I'm supposed to be watching the Crimea. Who shares our dynasty, because we're supposed to be PUing him. Um, yep, so I can grab a raw marriage with him. Well, that's uh, the relation slot freed up by dealing with Milan. Uh... Otherwise, do you have any debt? They have no debt. I think Kiev does. But they're subjects. You can't pay off your debt of your subjects, apparently. Okay. Well, in a few turns, Ragusa will be happy. If we go back to war, he will be happy right now. So how about we look at the war situation? Who do we wish to attack? I have truce with Burgundy... Truce with France comes up in two years. We have a truce with the Ottomans, obviously. <laughs> okay. Russia. We've got a truce with him. Who are we supposed to attack, guys? How do you play this game again? How does it go? Crap. Oh. Where are you, Ragusa? Grant that province to him. He's going to have any South Slavic province, right? That's the idea. And Greek as well. I think that's what we're doing. And then over here, I want to release uh, Theodoro, whose core might go away. No, it's primary. Will never go away. Good, good, good. That's good because we want to sort Theodora out, which means we need to PU him before the end of the game. Man, there's a lot we need to do before the end of the game. That's sketchy. I actually wanted to attack Portugal. And we've got truce with him as well. Oh no. We've got a truce with like literally everybody. Who do we not have a truce with? I think we literally have a truce with everybody. Crap. Crap! Everybody of importance. I should have pushed onwards with Austria. My bad. Okay, I could give Savoy these provinces. Mm -hmm. Either way, guys, it's time we dissolve this alliance. And the independence. 
so that in five years I can take a chunk out of him and buffer out Savoy. Here we go. Our friendship over. Feels bad, man. Sad after all this time. You were good to us, Milan, I admit. You were a little bit of a legend, I admit, Milan. Put the trade back to work. Holland. Got a truce with him as well. But it comes up in March. Yes. This is who we're going in against. He has no immediate allies. Uh, yes, that's who we're going on against. And that's going to be rewarding. Let's move out there. Now, you can drill, please. So I should have four generals. Where's our other general? We've got a stack up here. Which general is it? Zero siege, three maneuver. Drill that, please. All right, something to do. Nice. Going against Milan in uh, in March, not Milan, Holland in March, and we should have no problem annexing those German, quote unquote German provinces. Oh no, discipline advisor dies. That's sad. He's key. We'll keep rolling for one if we can. In the meantime, manpower would be good. Development cost reduction. Okay. Uh, we've got a few coal provinces, but most of them are... Twenty-three, let's do it. Sixty-three, let's do it. Get developed. Nice. Develop that while we can. So, what is it? What is it? It's in twelve years, is it, before you can start using the furnace? I don't know what it is. It must just be a tech. We don't have it, right? We need a tech. To have it, I don't know what tech unlocks it. Don't know. I uh, always do early game tutorials, guys, and I never get to the late game. I, I obviously do, but I just never get there hardcore enough and play enough, and I'm, I'm many patches behind, guys. I'm a noob. I'm a casual. Oh, crap. We don't have CB here. Dummy. But we do now. Okay, so nationalism should be better, right? 50% aggressive expansion, 150 prestige, 50% cost. Yep, it's better. It's significantly better. Oh man, Holland's going down here. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. Let's go blockade him. Poor guy. This is going to be the easiest war of my life. Poor guy. Didn't steal a ship, unfortunately. So we should, because he's got other provinces, we should be able to take that with ease here. Just need to take the fort, and then he's done. And now apparently Raguz is happy. Excellent. Milan, can you cancel royal marriage with me, please? Must be something we can convert on behalf of our friends. There totally is. We lost another general. Oh, man. Keep rolling for a disciplined advisor. Uh, army traditions high. Let's roll for a general. That was our super siege general as well. Super game. All of our generals keep dying now, guys. I, I, I recall rolling that siege general when I was rolling a bunch of generals because our generals died. 
and uh, he's, you know, not that good, but he's a siege general. I thought, well, that's fairly exciting. Let's try to claim up some more Hungarian land. At least we got a good siege general. No, plot twist. He's dead. Feels bad, man. Okay, we got these unions on lockdown. So the big union we need to make now is the Crimea. We share dynasty. So, uh, what can I say? Nice. Plus one tax in Bruslau. Perfect pronunciation. Nailed it. And our truce with France comes up next year. I guess we're waiting on that, basically, right? Because we have nothing else to do. Now, with the imperialism CB, we don't have to worry about Brittany's uh, claims so much. But, obviously, it would be advantageous to just take the claims when we hand them off to Brittany to make his life easier. And, um, apparently Holland has medium enthusiasm. I seriously don't know how that's possible. It might have been because he's fighting a naval battle somewhere against one of our colonies. So, there we go. Easy. Easy, and uh, we don't need to worry about truce time, because I never intend to fight Holland again. So let's just take his cash here. We have all of the mainland provinces. And we'll call that up really quickly and nicely, because it's German. Excellent. And we appear to have stolen two light ships, maybe. Excellent. Life's good. Took out that with no trouble. And let's drill in the meantime. Try to get some bonus pips on our generals so that they're better. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so France, if we use Imperialism, C Imperialism CB, the war score cost is reduced. So I'd suggest two more wars and we're done with France. However, we have to make sure Brittany has 1,000 development at some stage so I don't know what the solution to that may be I might give him uh, all of Ireland or something where he can fully accept that culture and uh, yeah we're going to have to feed Ragusa outside of Europe just simply to give him more de dev as well So he is Croatian. There's no harm in giving him Croatian stuff. Yay! Did we roll a good general for once? Four, four, six, two. That's what I'm talking about. That's not too bad. Yay! Stability. Ah, I should be rolling a advisor. There we go. Discipline. Everything's looking good. Looking good. Now we just need states to state up this territory and start getting our trade to go through the roof. Uh, next admin tech gives us states. Five states which we'll make good use of. I guess let's um, move some of these out. Well... Some stacks to deal with uh, Denmark. Head towards Denmark when we attack France. Yeah, unfortunately, guys, this goal that I had in mind, like, it seems pretty big and ambitious, right? You know? Like, we're getting later on into the game, and uh, this was a really good game, really enjoyable, don't get me wrong. But I'm just saying... The same old familiar feeling. It's like, oh, geez, this just drags on and on and on, right? We have to try to get all of this accepted culture. Right now... Aha! Spain's prestige is way higher than it, it was in the past. So, um... There's, here's something that I've been daunting, guys, because... Uh, as you guys have heard earlier in this series, it did occur to me that maybe... 
Austria just fully accepted all the Germany. Maybe this is not possible what we're trying to do. I don't know. Maybe you can't have a subject fully accept their own culture group. So we're going to do something that I've been procrastinating. And I'm going to go to the ledger. Because I'm nervous. And I'm going to check um, if we can find it. Country. Development. We're going to check Spain's development. <gasps> it's above... It's above a thousand. Oh, Britain is getting there as well. Damn. So maybe if we give France, uh, the rest of France, he will have a thousand. Uh, Spain's development is above a thousand. So theoretically, he should be able to form the government type if he has enough prestige, which I think is 75. Which he's getting there, apparently. Uh I'm nervous that he's not going to do it, right? Okay, so we can just break Denmark's alliance and we don't have to fight him. I think that's preferable. Because I'd piece him out by breaking his alliance anyway. So I think that's preferable. And uh, let's go deal with the Papal State, who I will strategically cancel his relations with Milan, has cancelled his relations with us, good. Alright, let's go, we're going to be taking that CV for reduced cost, 25%, and uh, let's go. So, um, how did Spain's prestige fluctuate so dramatically? I'm not 100% sure, but it'll be interesting to see if after this victory... He has more prestige, and uh, if he does it, if he finally becomes Empire Government rank, apparently he's losing prestige now passively, which is uh, not exactly ideal. Hmm. I'll consider boosting my uh, legitimacy through strength in government. We actually don't have very many royal marriages at all, which means, uh, because there's no, I mean, do we have any? We might not have any royal marriages. We have one with Curland. That appears to be it. So, our legitimacy improves very slowly. Navy is all up to date on our combat fleet. It's good to see. Hoping our overextension is good, which it will be. By the time we finish this war. Influence Savoy, eh? Nah, I'll wait until we release them. That's just fine. Oh, I can get a royal marriage with Savoy if I don't have one. We do, we do. Alright, that fort fell extremely quickly. So, how much of France can we take here? We can take everything he has on the mainland. Beautiful. And then we just slowly hand it off as much as we can to Brittany. Brittany has officially caught up everything. Ish. Let's influence him again. Mm. Nah. He's got all six admin and that's not going to give him admin anyway. Let's not bother. So it's just the Papal State, guys. This should go smoothly. This war. An absolute breeze. He has hardly any forts, doesn't he? You just need a separate piece of the Papal State. Crimea, yep. Yeah, I'll influence him, so be it. We want to keep our relations up, and that's cheap and easy. Manpower is recovering while we do these shenanigans. So that's fine and good. And, uh, yeah, we want our truce to end with Milan, who currently has no allies. That's perfect. And then against Milan, I guess we're just fighting in the hills here like a champion, like a boss. Except he walked away. Uh, with Milan, I want to take enough to just buffer out Savoy so I feel more comfortable. And then we're going to 
put our dynasty onto Savoy, and we're going to try to um, PU Savoy at a later date. We have to PU Crimea as well. And the Crimea is to give all of this that's inside Europe. Some of it's not inside Europe, but I might have to empower them to become Empire Government rank. But things should move along here, hopefully, now that we got some of this admin efficiency, we got the Imperialism CB at a more quick rate. And we're obviously so powerful that nothing's really standing in our way. I will have to break Great Britain, which means getting onto the Isles, but I think that's doable as well. It's all doable, isn't it? We got this. But the British Isles, uh, Britain is truly a, just a, a naval powerhouse now. It's, it's it's quite crazy. I might fight this guy with no general. No, I won't. Let's not get crazy. Let's not get crazy. Calm down. Alright, so Rome, what kind of allies do you have? Portugal. The Breakers Alliance of Portugal. Okay. Now, how much war score cost is this? 63. We'll get him. We'll get him. We've got ticking war score now. His enthusiasm's whack. We might have to sit on him a bit. Because obviously he's got colonies and stuff. But uh, we'll get him. Nice. Easy. Too easy. Who's coming up next? Burgundy in one year. Well, wow, that's self-explanatory. We'll crush Burgundy. And we might be able to just break that alliance. No, apparently not. So we'll have to deal with Venice. Um, the biggest issue, of course, is that... Damn. These provinces around here are so amazing. Just because the AIs lived for so long and developed them and they begin with good development. Uh, biggest issue with Burgundy is that it needs to be caught up, right? By... Uh, our friend Brittany, who's going to be really pushed to the max. We've almost got him as it is. As his ticking war score goes up and his enthusiasm lowers more from the war exhaustion, this guy will be done. It's tempting to just take one more general. I think I might do it. Nice. That's a good general as well. Just be one over here. Apparently the Ottomans are still a valid rival. That's cool. Because this game, uh, our power projection has been rocking. Like, so often. By this time... Well, it's because I started as a one province miner. Like, let's get real. By this time, we're often... Uh, damn, he actually got a lot of war score from that naval battle. We're actually so powerful that I don't have valor rivals, but it's because I started as a one province miner. Like, it was a slow rolling game. We, we know that. But not anymore. Look at us. It's glorious. I think it's glorious. So what kind of allies do you have, Great Britain? Austria? Austria is uh, becoming more and more of a joke. Poor him. Some natives. Yeah, easy. Alright, we're really, really close to piecing out France. There's nothing really for us to blockade. It's just about the activities out in the New World and... He has colonies which are not occupied, but with the chicken wall score in this amount of enthusiasm, uh, war exhaustion, we'll get him in no time. A few more months. Brittany has still been coring that stuff up. The stuff that he has stated up. Alright, so it looks like he's going over here. Let's just be ready to pub stomp that guy. So he doesn't re-siege stuff. Let's get our innovativeness up just for the heck of it. One unrest is nothing to us. We're so stable. 
due to my choices. Yeah, so we're done fighting France as well. So I have no issue taking cash from him. Boom, boom. This continent, this here is my continent, didn't you know? Yeah, now poor Brittany. What's it gonna be, dude? Hand the stuff off to him. And with that being said, guys, I think that's actually it for this episode, is it? I think so. Let's see how much he can take here. He's already at 44% overextension. 63. So I'm interested to see what we are at. 70. Upon giving him the stuff. As long as we're good, then we're good. Brittany, man. Looking really nice. Oh, yeah, we still have this issue. <gasps> we still have this issue. Gascon. Unaccepted. He converted it from Basque. How rude. Wait. Oh! He's fully accepted Basque! He fully accepted it all! Yes! It works! It works! My plan works! This is how I roll, guys. See, on my channel, we're not like some of these nerds who test everything and go into... You know, no, I'm just, just kidding, by the way. Nerds are cool. But I'm just saying... We just straight, we're like, huh? Does that work? I guess so. Maybe. And we do it. And it works. Because we're the best. Feels good, man. Check it out. Proof. Proof. Personal unions. Subject nation. Fully accepts all Iberian culture. Sick. Now I'm convinced, given enough time, he, he will convert this back to, to Basque, guys. Because it's full acceptance. He's going to be convert that back. Uh, and then um, we just need to give him the rest of Portugal, including these islands, and he will fully accept it. The dream. All of this. Cha-chink. Locked down. Now we know Brittany, who is near a thousand, will fully accept French. We know this is going to work now, right? That's undeniable. It It is going to work. It's got nothing to do with individually accepting cultures. He could have accepted Catalan for all that time, and he didn't. Uh, it just got accepted along with Basque and everything. There's no way he would waste a slot there. And for Glacian as well. The dream. It works. It works. My plan works. We shall give Kiev all of Russia. We shall give Ragusa all of South Slavia and then give him colonies in North Africa to make him a thousand development. The dream is real. It works. It's so exciting. I was starting to have doubts as we played this out. And here we go. Overextension is just fine. That's it for this episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, feeling good about that now. Sweet. Brittany has tons of prestige as well. If we can just get him a thousand, which he's so close to, he's going to full accept France already. Sick. Love it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.